Hello world and welcome to Hacks. In today's video we're going to be bypassing a basic PHP authentication mechanism, sort of a way for us to get access to a site without authenticating properly. No, it doesn't use SQL, it's just a bit of logic in a PHP script which is easy to bypass if you pass the right parameter and variable to the URL. So we're on hack of this site, we're going to be looking at extended basic number 5, if I don't scroll too far. And what you can see is called Sucky Sys Admin. And it says this site is run by a new system administrator who does not know about web configuration. The script is located at moo.com moo.php. Attempt to make the script think you're offed by entering in the correct URI. Here is the script. So URI or URL is interchangeable well it's not really they do have two specific meanings one is uniform resource locator and one is uniform resource identifier maybe uh, but they sort of default to using URL these days so the script is called me.php and as you can see it is PHP and we have to submit the correct value of the URL into this box in order to bypass the authentication mechanism. So let's look at the authentication mechanism line by line and work out what's going on. So at the very top we have our open PHP parameter to specify that it's a PHP script. Bear in mind you won't see this in the page source of an application unless that application is really well unless the permissions of those files are really bad. PHP is server-side script and you won't likely see it on a website unless the server is misconfigured in some way. So you won't get to see this, but it's a nice challenge to see what you can do with PHP, learn the basic syntax. So at the very top, we've got the opening PHP statement and then at the very bottom, we've got the closing PHP statement. Oh, we've got two PHP statements, should I say. So we've got one there. And one there. Yeah, because we got the HTML in the middle. Silly me. Okay, so at the very top, we have user equals get user semicolon. And what this means is it's saying take whatever's input into user and put it in the user variable. So when you go to the login form, you input user. It's getting that value and it's sticking it in this variable called user. And then it's doing the same for the password. It's taking the pass and it's getting it and putting it inside the pass variable. Now, here's where the logic is of the authentication mechanism. It's saying if is oft user pass passed equals true. If passed equals true, then we win. Hooray! So that's basically it. It's saying if our user and password is correct, we is setting the passed variable to true. And we win. So if passed equals true, we win, pretty much. So if user and password is right, passed equals true. And if passed equals true, we win. And then we've got the HTML, which the user will look at to input the uh, variables or to input their credentials. So you can see action me.php, that's this script here. It's using a get request, which I find a bit odd, but hey. Then you have the input type of text which is for the username. Now this is why there's a difference when you type user or password into the various boxes, you will see the user in plain text, but you'll also see the password is usually asterisks. Is that a word? Asterisks? Yeah, okay, well, what that is, is because it's using the input type of password. So this can be quite useful actually. If you're writing a report for a client and you found a weak password is being used or it accepts weak passwords or you're doing some sort of username enumeration and you want to show in the screenshot that you're using that specific password what you can do is you can jump into the source code or you can inspect the actual elements so right click on a box as you would do and click inspect and you can just double click on that and change it to text so then when you take your screenshot it will show both the username and the password in plain text and yeah it's good for reports because it shows the client that you're using the right report however you may want to redact it anyway because if a report contains sensitive information like that uh, yeah gray area so this is the HTML form that the user will see. It's inputting its username, its password, its, it's inputting their username and their password. And then we've got this little function at the bottom. Uh, function is oft a b return false. 
not entirely sure what this is intending to do. I, I, yeah. Is off return false? So perhaps that's supposed to be like an else statement? I'm not too sure. Is off A B? I can't see how it would relate to user and pass. Yeah, I'm not too sure. If you let me know, uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments. I'm not a wizard with PHP. I wish I, I wish I was. To be fair, I'm not a wizard with web stuff in general. To be honest, I think that stuff is black magic. People who are really good at web applications, in my opinion, web application security are wizards, and that's just a fact of life for me. They are more powerful than Gandalf the Grey, Radagast the Brown, and Dumbledore together. People who go on to take their OSWP or whatever it is, wizards. So, yeah, how do we pass this then? Well, it's pretty simple really. We grab the URL that we want. And we paste it in the box. And then we need to look at this variable, passed equals true. So until we submit the correct username and password, this variable will not be true. So what you can do in PHP, and you will, you, you will see this if you inspect URLs closely, is Let's take a WordPress site for example. What you will find is you will see the URL and then you will see a question mark at the end and then you'll have something like ID or page ID equals one. Now what's happening there is, is you're specifying the question mark and then you're placing a variable there to say page and then you're specifying the value for that variable equals one, two, three or four because you want that specific page. And then the server knows what to do with it, it's checking the variable, whether it runs some backend SQL syntax to get that information back, whether it does relate to a SQL syntax again. But what you need to do in PHP in order to specify a variable is you throw a question mark up and then you type the variable name. And then you give it the value by pressing equals and in this case we want to write true. So we're saying past equals true and that if we check it should give us the lovely blue button that we want to go on to the next mission so that's it that's how you solve this mission you grab the URL you append a question mark to it to say you're going to be specifying a variable you put your variable of past into the URL and then you give it the value of true yeah not an ideal way to handle authentication mechanisms, especially if you're trying to protect sensitive information like personally identifiable information. But it's a fun challenge because it does, if, if you're very new to web scripting and things like that, it does give you a quick insight to PHP and how it can be used and how it can be used wrongly, evidently in this case. Um, again, I doubt you would find many scripts like this out in the wild. You would more likely have a PHP application with a database backend and the authentication mechanism would be linked to uh, SQL prepared statement and the, val the values that you pass to it, the username and password, will be um, put into variables and then later further down it will be appended to the uh, prepared statement and then it will run the query against the database and say do these users exist? If yes, then we'll set a cookie in his browser and give him a session and he'll be authenticated. That's usually how it works. Um, yeah, so you probably won't see this in a while, but it's a fun challenge to show you a bit of programming and a bit of logic and how it could easily be bypassed if someone was to implement something like this in a real world application. But anyway, I hope this helps you solve the challenge. If it did, leave me a comment, let me know. Uh, if you're liking the content, give me a thumbs up. If you're new, perhaps you could subscribe. I love those subscribers. But yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I sincerely hope you enjoy it. And I will see you next time. Kind regards.